So right now, I'm cutting these strips of cloth because I was told that that will hold up my plant better because my, my tomato plant over there is falling over and I'm going to lose it if I don't cut it up soon and get it fixed. So. curtain rods to the existing plant stand and then I'm going to tie the plant to that. That looks pretty ripe, huh? You know if it comes off easy that it's ready. There it goes. Yep, got it. Look at that. That's pretty good, huh? Hold on, let me get one more. This one's ready to be picked here. Should I do a taste test? Yeah, you can do it. Amazing. Nothing like growing these in your own backyard. Or in our case, your own back deck. Baby cherry tomatoes. And look at these. Let me show these. These right here. Those are going to be lemon boy tomatoes. So they're going to be like a yellow color. But I don't know what the harvest time is on those. But these little cherry tomatoes, if you've never grown cherry tomatoes, I recommend growing these kind because they're great. I'm about to eat the tomato and the basil together. Tomato, basil. Mm. Oh my gosh. You should try this. Baby, you want to try it? I'll try it. I, mean, I don't know. Not really. I don't want to try it. You don't want <laughs> You want to try just some tomato? Just taste the tomato. Okay, I didn't even get you trying. What do you think? Pretty good? It's pretty good. You want to try another one? I don't want to keep eating tomato. Just eat no more. First reaction. <laughs> Flavorful. Pretty good. Does it taste like what? Oh, look at you. Arranged it very nicely. Just pop it. Wrap it up all nice. Okay. I like your style. Pretty good, huh? It's legit good. Pretty good. There you have it, folks. Heard it from the man of the house. Now look, this is what happens when I eat the tomatoes. This is all I have left. And I'm about to eat them. I'm about to eat them up because they're just so good. Like I, I try to want to. I want to reserve them for like salads and stuff. But it's so good on its own. I'm about to eat my last one with the basil. I'm gonna do it Chad style. Give me a nice piece of basil. Here we go. Burrito. And. Seriously, if we had some fresh mozzarella right now. That'd be where it's at. Nothing like getting some fresh mozzarella from the farmer's market. Some fresh bread, basil, tomatoes. It's a meal. Some balsamic vinegar. We didn't film last week because life was crazy. Life got in the way. Work was very intense. 
Chad's work was intense. My work was intense. Um, yeah. Then we had the weekend come up and we did do some fun stuff. I'm not going to lie. We went Goodwill shopping, which is always a blast. Seriously, again, I highly recommend the Goodwills here in North Georgia. I can't really speak for other areas, but in North Georgia, they're amazing. And then we had family in town. We took my father-in-law to a Braves game. He'd never been before, and that was a lot of fun. I think they really enjoyed it. And what do you think? You think everybody had a good time? Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. And now we're just chilling. We're getting back to normal life. Hopefully we'll be able to film some more stuff. We still have to film an intro video, which we are working towards right now. I'm thinking that we're going to do like the couples tag. That's kind of what I want to do. So I need to get Chad the questions this week so that we can like set everything up and like film it and kind of have that be our couples tag slash intro video. Lily, are you ready for the water? Dog watering. <laughs> baby, <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> you get too much. Let's shake it off. Let's shake it off, Mama. Look at her; she can't get enough of it. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, excuse me. Happy Thursday. Thursday. I think uh, I'm just dreaming or wishing that it was Friday, but it is Thursday morning. I am headed into work. Got an errand to run on the way to work. Um, I had to drop something off at FedEx um, for someone at work in another location. And then... I am headed in. I had I've just had a really busy week this week, so that's always it's it's good because it's always really good to be busy um, during your day. But at the same time, I feel like you know I'm always wanting to get more done. But yeah, so today should be another busy day. I've got a lot of stuff going on, and all is good. We are. Um, we probably need to go grocery shopping at our house tonight because we have pretty much no groceries right now. Um, we've just been kind of making do. I did make some um, chicken on the grill pan last night, um, which turned out fine. But yeah, we probably need to go grocery shopping tonight. Or we could just order a pizza. This would be our second Big Dipper for the week. But, you know, I guess you only live once. going to get some food because we have no groceries at home and we need to eat dinner. And uh, I am a happy camper. So here's my little story. Got home from work. Actually on the way home I was like crafting a uh, little description for my old iPhone 5. Not even the 5S, the iPhone 5. And so I put that together and then got home, took some pictures of it put it on the charger and listed it on eBay and like I literally was sitting on the couch listed it on eBay with Chad then walked outside started walking my dogs and within five minutes like within five minutes it sold like I cannot believe that like I've, I've sold quite a bit of stuff on eBay but it always amazes me how fast the phones sell which I've never had something sell this fast like I put an auction price and then I put a buy it now price and it sold so fast. I mean, I I literally didn't even have it posted for five minutes. And it's amazing to me what people will buy off of eBay because that phone, um, and I listed everything very clearly of, you know, the description of, you know, the issues that I had. And I mean, it was a good phone, but the main issue was that it had like two cracks on the front of the screen. I don't know, I guess people like replace these cracks or something, but isn't that crazy? Like, people buy those phones, like, 
instantaneously, instantaneously, and they, like, I guess whoever bought it, they already paid too, so, you know, kudos to them, I will be shipping out there, they're new to them, but, and now I'm thinking about all the other stuff I want to sell, we have an extra, no, we have two extra iPods, we have, like, old iPods, one of them is real old, one of Chad's is, like, super old, we have a Wii that we want to sell. I've got also got one of those like speakers. It's made for like the iPhone 4 though, like a docking station speaker. And um, you know, everything that we have, I would like to use that, but everything we have is is lightning, has the lightning cable, so it won't work. So I'm gonna see if I can sell that. I don't know if that will really sell, but I've sold so much stuff on there. Like I've even sold shoes. And they've sold really well and really fast. So I'm a big fan of eBay. I've done very well, and now I'm like, because that thing sold, I feel like I got a little bit of like pep in my step to sell some more stuff.